All right, hey, we're down at Timeless R3 Finishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website at www.timelessrgr.com. So today we're working on some uh, Kendall furniture and some baker stuff. Um, and right now, this little baker uh, um, dresser here, sideboard dresser, whatever you want to call it, um, was just basically uh, the top of it was being uh, refinished. It had some scratches in it. So basically what I'm doing at this point, I'm going to show you guys how I hand rub it out. And a little bit of the job's already been going because it's kind of time consuming. I want to get a whole hour on just rubbing our top. But basically after I build the top to where it looks good in a gloss lacquer, and I get about maybe eight coats on it, then I'm just using some mineral spirits as a lubricant, and you can block sand this any way you want. I fortunately have a machine, so. Once again, just to save time here, um, I've already wet set at this top about seven times like this. And then uh, basically what I'm doing now is just wiping off the, the mineral spirits and uh, cut lacquer. And, uh, Hey, Corey, hand, hand me a nap, though, will you? Yeah. Can you see it over there pretty good, Jetta? Yep. You can, can, you get, can you zoom in closer on it? Thanks. Okay, so at this point, I'm just taking some naphtha. I'm going to clean this off so I'm not having oil in my rubbing compounds. That's nice. Uh, NAPTA has a high flash point, so if you got static electricity going on that day in your clothes, you don't want to do that. Bring that over here, honey. Did you see it in here? Can you see like the little shiny spots yet? Yep. Can you see it with the camera? Yep. And so I'm just going to cut that another time here. The more of that you can cut out of it, the nicer it's going to look. We'll just cut it one more time.
see the top pretty good? Yep. You can get closer if you need to. If you're wondering how they get that high-end quality finish at Baker and Kendall and Whittacombe or any other place, this is the way they do it. They wet sand it down and buff it back up and you got a beautiful, beautiful finish. And not only is it, but it feels really nice too. And we're just using a, a Meguiar's uh, uh, glazing compound here. They got lots of different ones uh, that you can use. Lots of people uh, really go all out rubbing stuff and they use a lot more stuff than what they really need to. Um, I've been doing this for lots of years and I've got lots of ways of cutting corners and instead of using, you know, a lot of times people will take a sander and then they use a scotch right pad after it, but you don't really have to do all that stuff, you know. Um, and just like with buffing, you don't need to have 20 compounds at $15 or 20 bucks a bottle to make something look nice. But uh, you got just gotta find out what works for you. So it's looking nice. Real good. Is it looking like Jenna did it? Oh yeah. to bring out the color, you know, yeah. the beauty of the finish. Have a little water bottle around here for you. Um, yeah, we do. Put some water in there. Yeah, yeah. Once you get a, yeah, you want to use a little water to lubricate it. You know, you see, see me spit on it there, and I do that too if I have to. But yeah, just have a little water bottle. I wouldn't recommend doing this on a piece of furniture until you do it on a sample board a few times because you got to get the feel of a buffer. How's it looking, Colorado? Good.
show that David like that. There we go. Looking pretty good? Yep. Yeah. yeah, you can tell how shiny uh, when you got a nice full gloss when you can see the reflection of the light hanging over the top. So basically that's it. Um, not really that difficult of a thing to do. You just have to uh, build up a lot of coats to finish on your on your uh, on your top, and then you have to wet sand it very good, nice and smooth. And once you wet sand it, then you can basically uh, take your polishing compound and buffing wheel and go to it. You just have to be real careful not to burn the edges off. Um, very seldom will anybody burn through the top, but um, lots of times you'll burn the edges off. So. As I wet sand that tabletop down a few times, I will wash it down with uh, a dry rag and then I will look for, you know, the orange peel along the edges and I will block sand that with a, oops, with a little, uh, little block and sandpaper. And uh, then I'll go up back over the top of it with my machine. But like I said, you don't have to have a machine. You can do this by hand too. So, um, so yeah, there you go. That's the way they get that, uh, that uh, candle look to it and uh, this one's actually a, a piece of baker we do a lot of baker and widdicombs and uh, Kendall stickly but we do everything down here we got a piece of Heckman furniture over here Right behind Jenna, it's a bunch of baker tables that I got to finish up for a guy in Indiana. Come on with that damn tape. Who tapes that on so good? Did you see the dress? They're pretty good, honey. Yeah. Honestly, the trick to these beautiful Kendall uh, finishes that they put out at Kendall and Baker's and Whittacombs and at the high-end factories is it's truly just a rub job. I mean, it, that rub job really makes a difference. It's like painting your car and your car looks, it looks nice, but once you wet sand that thing and wheel it out, it takes it to the whole next level. And that's, a, that's basically the trick for the high-end stuff. Now it's just a matter of cleaning this up a little bit and uh, so it looks pretty for the customer, and uh, that's it. So thank you, and have a good day.